Hello students, in this video we are studying infinite series. What is the meaning of infinite series? If we are having some terms like u1, u2, u3 and so on. These are the terms of any sequence. Okay, we have chosen all the terms of any sequence like u1, u2, u3 and so on. Now, if we are talking about a series, series means the sum of all these terms of any sequence. If we sum this u1 plus u2 plus u3 plus so on, this is called series. And if terms are infinite, then it is called infinite series. Okay, so what we can say a series is the sum of the terms of a sequence. If we are collecting all the terms of any sequence and the sum of these terms that is called a series. Okay, so this sum is called a series and we can denote it as sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity u n or just sigma u n where this n is varying from 1 up to infinity. Okay, this is called infinite series. Okay, now how we can check any series that is convergent or not? Necessary condition for convergency. To check whether the series is convergent, divergent or oscillatory, what we have to do? First, we will find the necessary condition for convergency. If we are having any infinite series, sigma un. The necessary condition is that limit n tends to infinity of this un is equal to 0. If the series is satisfying this condition, it means the series is convergent. Okay. So, if this series is satisfying limit n tends to infinity un is equal to 0, it means the series is converged. Okay. If this limit n tends to infinity u n this is not equal to 0 it means the series does not converge okay to check the series converts or not first we will find limit n tends to infinity of that u n that is equal to 0 or not okay for example this is an infinite series 1 by 2 plus 2 by 3 plus 3 by 4 plus so on this is infinite series we know that now how we can say this is convergent or not Okay, to find this is convergent or not. To find this series is convergent or not, what we will do? First, we have to find the nth term of this series. Okay, suppose I can say here the nth term that is un. We can say in the numerator there is 1, 2, 3 up to n. So, numerator of un is n and the denominator is n plus 1. So, the nth term of this series is n upon n plus 1. Okay, now limit n tends to infinity of this un. Simplify this, limit n tends to infinity n and in the denominator I can write this n outside and 1 plus 1 by n. This is cancelled and limit n tends to infinity 1 upon 1 plus 1 upon n and when we put this n tends to infinity what we get we get 1 upon infinity that is 0 1 upon 1 that is 1 and this is not equal to 0 okay and if limit n tends to infinity u n is not equal to 0 it means you can say the series is not convergent if this is equal to 0 series is convergent okay now, some important results of series. Number one, suppose sigma un and sigma vn are two series and these are convergent series. Then, the sum of these series or the subtraction of these series that is also convergent. Okay, why? Because we know that sigma of un plus minus vn. I can write it as sigma of un plus minus sigma of vn separately. Second, if we have any convergent series sigma un and in this series we are multiplying c. c is any finite number other than 0. In any series we are multiplying c finite number other than 0. The result will be convergent. Okay, there will be no change in convergency in this series. And the third is if in any convergence series we 
omit or introduce any finite number of terms the series remains convergent okay so these are some important results of series now next is positive term series it means in this series all the terms are non negative okay if in any series there is only non negative terms that is called positive term series or we can say this series is a monotonic increasing series okay so if we are talking about positive term series there all the terms are non negative terms and that is a monotonic increasing series so we can say the series like sn un plus u2 plus up to un all are greater than equal to 0 for every n all terms are non negative terms greater than 0 or equal to 0 that is positive term series now for testing the convergency of a positive term series there is a test that is comparison test so comparison test a positive series kind of sigma 1 upon n power p okay if we are having any series sigma 1 upon n p type so that will be convergent if this p is greater than 1 okay and if this p is less than or equal to 1 the series is divergent okay so how this comparison test help us to find the series is convergent or divergent if we are having any positive series type of sigma 1 upon n power p and this power of n is if greater than 1 so the series is convergent if this power is less than or equal to 1 the series is divergent okay there is comparison test of first type in comparison test of first type we are having two positive term series suppose sigma un and sigma vn these are two positive term series and these two series are such that there exists a positive integer m such that un is less than equal to of k v n for every n is greater than equal to m and this k is not equal to 0 then we can say if this un series is convergent it means sigma vn is also convergent and similarly sigma vn series is divergent it means sigma un series is also divergent okay to understand this concept first we will take for example a series and we have to find this series either convergent or divergent so how we will find it first we have this 1 upon factorial 2 i can write this 1 by 2 1 upon factorial 3 less than 1 upon 2 power 2 similarly i can write this 1 upon factorial 4 is less than 1 upon 2 power 3 and so on i can write this 1 upon factorial n is less than 1 upon 2 power n minus 1 so adding all the terms of left side equal to all the terms of right side we can write 1 plus 1 upon factorial 2 plus 1 upon factorial 3 and so on these all are less than equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 power 2 and so on. so by writing this series in this way what we get we get that each term of this given series after the second term that is less than the corresponding term of this series okay and what about this series 1 plus 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 square and so on for this series nth term is 1 upon 2 to the power n minus 1 and we can say limit n tends to infinity for 1 upon 2 power n minus 1 is equal to on simplifying that is equal to 0 it means this vn series is convergent so by comparison test of first type i can say this series un or 1 plus 1 upon factorial 2 plus 1 upon factorial 3 is also convergent
okay now this way we can use comparison test of first kind comparison test second type again here is two series sigma un and sigma vn if we can write the terms of these series like un upon un plus 1 and vn upon vn plus 1 this is greater than equal to this for every n is greater than equal to m so we can say if this series is convergent it means sigma vn also convergent okay similarly if sigma vn divergent so we can say sigma un is also divergent okay next is limit form what we will do in this limit form sigma un and sigma vn these are two positive term series and these are such that limit n tends to infinity of un upon vn and we will get l where l is not equal to 0 and this is a finite number then if this l is not equal to 0 and if this l is any non zero finite number it means these two series diverge or converge together okay if we are having any two series and un upon vn and then applying limit n tends to infinity we will get l where l is not equal to 0 that is any finite number so both the series diverse or converge together for example let this un is sine 1 upon n and another series whose nth term is 1 upon n now what we will do if we find the value of limit n tends to infinity un upon vn so i can write here limit n tends to infinity sine 1 upon n upon 1 upon n and we know that limit n tends to infinity sine theta upon theta that is equal to 1 so by using this i can write this limit n tends to infinity un upon vn that is equal to 1 which is not equal to 0 and this is a finite number it means if this series is convergent or divergent so definitely this un series is also convergent or divergent okay for this series vn nth term is 1 upon n and power of n is 1 so if this p is equal to 1 so this series will be divergent because you know that so we will write here sigma vn is divergent why divergent because p is equal to 1 for p is less than or equal to 1 the series is divergent it means the series un sine 1 upon n that is also divergent okay so by using comparison test first kind second kind and this limit form we can find and comparing two series if one series is convergent or divergent the other series will also convergent or divergent okay okay thank you